Hello, and today we're going to go in search of vintage in Cheltenham. So we're going to go to Smoky Joe's Cafe, and then we're going to go and find some other shops that are selling some really neat retro and vintage stuff. So, off we go. Okay, so we're parked up in the Regent Arcade shopping car park, which is a bit of a pain to find, so you're better off trying to find a sat-nav to get here and getting the postcode. It's a strange kind of concept, but when this car park, what happens is, is that the cameras, as you enter the car park, read your number plate. So there is no barrier and there's no ticket. What you do is you, when you leave, you put in the last three um, figures of your, uh, number plate um, um, into the pay and display machine and of course then it will automatically think that the car that you're taking away <laughs> is actually your car so let's hope no one else has got the last three digits of my car in here because what they do is they show you a photograph of your car and then you can say that's the one and that's how you pay to get out anyway so enough of the chatter let's go and find some vintage Well, what I found so far is an antique place at Wildwood. Uh, it's antique, but it's a really nice tea room underneath there. But that looks the way of vintage. So I've gone into the uh, tourist information place. I've got this very, very nifty map. And that was in the Art Gallery Museum over there. So what I've got to do now is I've got to follow this map all the way down and go to the Suffolk's which is somewhere along the promenade going down there and down there it'll probably only take me about three minutes but knowing me i'll get lost it in about half an hour okay, well here we are kind of it's been now um probably about a 10 minute walk i suppose from the town you kind of end up going up into a residential place it looks as though it's on the a40 somewhere very knobby place, been past lots of really nice shops with little tweedy bits in but nothing vintage. Right, okay, so we have now come to Suffolk Square. I can now see this lovely thing up here which says to the Suffolk's Upper Bath Road Shopping. Now, I've heard all the best places are in the Suffolk's. Sounds ever so posh, doesn't it? Anyway, so we're nearly there, thank God. Green vamp you. and it's over there. I'm going to go this way. Okay, here we are, this is Green Vamp. Huge and obby, as you can see. There's some nice stuff in there though, but it looks a little bit out of my price range. You might want to go in there if you want to find out some more. I've actually found the stuff looks quite dull. Most of the shops are shut. There's plenty of hairdressing shops and barbers. Have a look round. And there's Okay, here we are at Scenic, which is just coming into Leckhampton, which is a really good place down there because it's got tons and tons of charity shops. So hopefully we'll be able to find a bit more vintage because we haven't done so so far. But anyway, off we go. Back to the car. Now I've got to get a pair of socks because my feet are now killing me. And then I'm going to go and search for more vintage. But to be perfectly honest, I haven't found anything yet. Right, cup of tea in the bun, I think. So here we are, we've been into Smoky Joe's and met the lovely Vicky um, and so we're going to go back and write a piece on her and the cafe, it's wonderful. You must come down here, it's in Cheltenham, a great place. Come down, thank you. So all in all, um, a long day, uh, wasn't much in the way of vintage, uh, the shops that I thought actually were going to be there uh, weren't and um, had a really good chat with Vicky in Smoky Joe's and I really recommend you go there. It's in Bellington Street which is off the High Street in Cheltenham and they do regular vintage fairs and other bits and pieces as well as events and they do jukebox hire as well which is really really good. Um, don't know why I said that, but they're very nice in there. So I um, suggest that you go in there um, and find them on their Facebook page, Smoky Joe's Cafe, just like the song. And um, and I think that's about it. Oh yes, don't forget to get your copy of the Vintage Girlie magazine, which is found on my website, which is www.thevintagegirlie.com. 
or you can find me on Facebook. Okay, um, stay tuned for more vintage uh, towns near you. See you again. Bye. Keep on.